Hi Libra, I'm Jennifer Angel. Now this is a week where you could feel a little overwhelmed. Okay, so um, first of all, right there in your solar sixth house, uh, and this is one of your um, work areas of your chart. It's also to do with your health. There's a lot of activity there. Mars is there. Mars can, I'm sure I said this to you last week, um, possibly the week before. Mars can prompt you to do more than you can humanly fit into um, the time span that you need to do it in. Hence, of course, you'll try because as a Libra, you know, you are, you're proactive, you're a cardinal sign, you also want to do the right thing. Um, so, you know, your heart and mind, uh, you know, will say yes and you will try, but if you don't manage to do it because you've simply just taken, taken on too much, nothing to do with your capabilities at all, um, you can then fall into a pattern of um, being self-critical. Now this week Mercury also in this position of your chart goes retrograde at the end of the week, the 23rd, so the, the energy and the somewhat unsettling vibration and energy of, of that um, transit can just make you feel a little bit off balance and that saying which I love which is not comfortable in your own skin um, and when you like that it can cause you to say and do things that are somewhat out of character okay so first of all um, think first before you act or speak secondly if something comes out wrong or you do something that you didn't mean to give yourself a break okay and you know most things in life are not set in concrete and very few things in life are really worth going into battle about so give yourself a little bit of a break don't be so hard on yourself okay fine that happened learn from it um, acknowledge it and move move on okay now before we move out of that area of your chart um, Let's just mention that the sun is moving in there on the 19th. It's going to ingress into that area of your chart on the 19th. And on the 21st, it will conjunct with planet Neptune. So this can add some confusion in the way that you um, think something is meant to be happening, but it's not going to happen in that way. It's like, it's almost like, when you hear somebody say something, but their actions are different. So it's not congruent. So go, with Neptune there, you've got an opportunity to really tune into your instincts, your intuition, and go with your intuition, okay? Because that's what really will be telling you what's happening with somebody. So it may be that somebody's going through a certain situation, um, and they don't know how to express themselves so you know you'll be able to pick up on that most of all this week Libra um, be careful of stressful situations okay so you don't want to get involved in stressful situations that are going to rob you of your self-worth and your energy the other planet that's going retrograde is, is Saturn on the 18th, the start of the week in your solar second house, okay, to do with your money, also to do with your self-worth. So um, don't get caught in negative thinking. Think in the positive, and if you find yourself being self-critical, immediately turn around and think of five things that are fabulous about yourself, okay, to, to just leave that negative vibe behind okay so that's your that's your greatest level of homework this week all right have a great week i'm jennifer angel thanks for watching